Hello everyone. Welcome to Diagnose It. Today we have this chest x-ray and uh, this is a case of uh, basically a patient which is in ICU and we are to make a diagnosis from this chest x-ray. So firstly discussing about this uh, chest x-ray, let me tell you the findings and uh, firstly let me tell you there is this significant rotation that is present in this chest x-ray. So we can't make a very sure sure diagnosis from this but still let me tell you the findings. Firstly there are a lot of wires these these wires these are over the patient these are basically the ecg leads that shows the patient is in icu and uh, the next one is this there is this tube you can see this tube this is basically a tracheostomy tube so the patient is having a tracheostomy the other findings you can clearly see uh, this is the costophrenic angle of this right side and this is the costophrenic angle of this uh, left side and there is a short short blunting of this uh, left side costophrenic angle it shows that uh, there is some kind of uh, pleural effusion over this left side and uh, in the right side you can clearly see there is this opacity at here in the center part and uh, in the periphery you can see there is this hyperlucent area that is more black colored area and let me tell you this black colored area in this x-ray is showing the presence of air and uh, this excessive air that is present here this shows that this is the pneumothorax because there are no lung shadows uh, you can't compare from this side because uh, there is a pathology in this side also but this is not the regular lung parenchyma uh, you can clearly see this is just the air that is present between the two layers of pleura so on the right side there is this pneumothorax and what is this this in the center this is basically the collapsed lung so that uh, confirms our diagnosis of this uh, right sided pneumothorax and uh, about this left lung what is the pathology in this left lung well you can clearly see there is some haziness over the left lung and that haziness may be due to pneumonia or pneumonitis so after all this uh, let me summarize the findings that uh, you can see in this x-ray uh, over the left side there is this you can see this tracheostomy tube and this is uh, quite much displaced from the central position that means this is there is a significant rotation in this x-ray and over the right side you can see there is presence of this pneumothorax that is air is present between the two layers of pleura on the right side and on the left side you can clearly say this is there is a pneumonia with pneumonitis and this blunting of costophrenic angle states that there is this pleural effusion and uh, there is this tracheostomy tube that is showing the presence of tracheostomy and uh, there are uh, wires over this x-ray that is showing the presence of ecg leads so that states that the patient is in icu and this is also written in the question so after all that the diagnosis is ventilator associated barotrauma that has caused pneumothorax in the patient okay so this is our final diagnosis after this chest x-ray discussion now let me discuss uh, some important points about uh, this diagnosis this ventilator associated barotrauma causing this pneumothorax well this is most of the time associated with some kind of diseased lung that is uh, there is a previous pneumonia or a pneumonitis that is present in the lung or bacterial necrotizing pneumonia that is present in the lung that leads to necrosis of the alveoli and that necrosis due to the ventilation by the ventilator leads to continuous air leakage and that air leakage then lead to development of this pneumothorax and in this x-ray we can also see there is infection or pneumonia in this uh, left lung so by this we can also state that uh, there may be some kind of infection in the uh, right lung also so that is why this pneumothorax has developed over the right lung and it is very rare and to develop this ventilator associated barotrauma causing this pneumothorax in a normal lung and most of the time it occurs in the first four days of admission of the patient in the icu or on the mechanical ventilation about the symptoms uh, symptoms the most characteristic and most common symptom that a patient have after this pneumothorax is this tachycardia the other symptoms are quite non-specific because an ICU patient is already in the ICU due to some other reason and uh, the other symptoms like loss of consciousness, dyspnea or other symptoms that can be due to other reasons also but this tachycardia, this if present, this must point towards the diagnosis of this ventilator associated barotrauma. Now about the treatment, well one more thing uh, this is not the simple pneumothorax most of the time this pneumothorax leads to development of tension pneumothorax in the patient and this is a serious condition and maybe life threatening for the patient also 
now about the treatment of this uh, uh, pneumothorax this is just like the normal uh, treatment of pneumothorax you can see a previous video that i made over the pneumothorax and uh, the normal treatment is just insertion of this uh, intercostal drainage tube icd tube that you can say and uh, the emergency treatment is uh, the insertion of needle and this needle and this icd these are inserted uh, in some specific places that you can see in the previous video that i have made so this is the case of ventilator associated barotrauma causing the pneumothorax so this is all you need to know about this x-ray and if you have any questions regarding this then do post it in the comment section below or you can also dm me on my instagram handle at diagnose it and don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you